Hello, my name is George Hancock. I'm a PhD student at the University of Exeter, and in this talk I'm going to be telling you about Camo Evo, the Camouflage Evolution Toolbox. I'm going to be telling you about why I developed this toolbox, its various features, what it can output, and its potential applications. Camouflage, rather ironically, is perhaps one of the most conspicuous examples of evolution by natural selection. Most animals possess camouflage because not being spotted by your predators stops you being eaten, and not being spotted by your prey helps you to eat. Given that camouflage relies typically on matching an animal's background, most animals have colorations and patterns which are similar to the environment that they live in. This has perhaps most iconically been demonstrated with the melanization of peppered moths during the Industrial Revolution. Despite the conspicuousness of camouflage um, as a response to evolutionary pressures, our understanding of the exact functions of camouflage phenotypes is restricted by the sheer variation of patterns in which animals can possess, combined with the variation in the range of different habitats that they can live in and their colours and structures, but also the range of different um, observer um, visual apparatuses, so animals vary in which colours they can see, in the detail of which they can see, but also in their cognition and their ability to recognise and remember their prey. All of these make the standard experimental design of manipulate this and see what happens to this quite difficult with regards to figuring out the optimization of animal camouflage. A solution to this problem is to use the same process that developed the camouflage in the first place, evolution. In this case, instead of evolution by natural selection, evolution using genetic algorithms. You create a random population within the potential phenotypic space, in this case animal patterns. You put it under selections, you rank them by which ones are harder to find, and you delete the ones which are the easiest to find. You allow those surviving individuals to reproduce, producing offspring through uh, genetic crossover, and then you provide a sprinkle of mutation to those offspring in order to maintain genetic diversity. And then you repeat this again and again and again for tens or in some cases hundreds of generations. Now, this idea of testing camouflage optimization with evolution is not novel. It has been done before using genetic algorithms by Bond and Camille to look at the influence of polymorphism on moth coloration. And it has also been done in a different method using neural networks by Talis et al. The problem with these systems is that they take quite a long time to run. Bond and Camille took 100 generations, and neural networks can take thousands of generations and quite costly hardware in order to run them. They also require quite a lot of reading and understanding of animal patterns in order to set them up. To solve these issues, I developed Camo Evo as part of my PhD in order to allow anyone to run their own camouflage evolution experiments on whatever device or whatever PC they own. This system allows you to use custom stimuli to upload your own background photos to save populations for future use, and it can output some camouflage measures as well. But because it's built in ImageJ, you can also incorporate other plugins. Within this system, we have two types of pattern generation based on um, the theory, mathematical theory for how real world patterns are generated. We have an animal pattern generation system which uses reaction diffusion and CIE lab color space. And we've got examples of the patterns that it can output on the right. These have not undergone evolution, these are randomly generated patterns. Because my own PhD is on ground nesting bird camouflage, I developed an egg pattern generation system based on Pike et al's work. This uses Gaussian thresholding and an and egg pigment space, because birds only have two pigments, so it's quite easy to do. And again, you can see on the right the sort of uh, colorations um, that this can output. And in my opinion, these are quite convincing to actual eggs. The system itself essentially works by using a psychophysics game where the user is tasked with finding a target as fast as they can. The targets which take longer to find get to survive, they get to reproduce, and then mutation is applied using a custom written genetic algorithm also encoded for image J. 
You, by using custom algorithm settings, we're able to generate quite effective camouflage in a relatively short amount of time. Here we have examples of evolution for both pattern generation systems, producing effective camouflage in just 30 generations. Here's also examples of the output from Camo Evo. So not only do you get the capture time, which is what the fitness value is, but you also get measures of camouflage, so the luminance difference, contrast, and color difference. Um, decreases, um, suggesting that the targets are becoming more similar to the background, which you'd expect for camouflage, and the edge disruptiveness is increasing. Camo Evo also is able to output his own plots, though we recommend for analyses extracting the data into R, which the system is able to do for you. Camo Evo, because of its flexibility, allows individuals to test a wide array of different treatments. For example, if you're interested in predator psychology, you could run an experiment where you have it so that for each generation there's a new observer, they're naive. Meanwhile, another population, you chain, have the same observer throughout. So essentially, you'd be looking at the influence of observer search image on polymorphism in camouflage. But it doesn't just have applications for research. We've also used it as a potential outreach tool uh, by developing a practical which we ran last autumn where we allowed students to come up with their own hypotheses with regards to how backgrounds would influence egg camouflage evolution and we gave them sample code to run their own analyses. This will also be available with the toolbox once it's published. So, in conclusions, Genetic algorithms are capable of producing effective camouflage and it can be done in a few generations. Uh, genetic algorithms and other adaptive mechanisms are going to become more popular in research. We've seen this already and I'm hoping that Camo Evo will help accelerate this process. And they can also be used as a great example of evolution and camouflage principles for education. I'd like to very quickly thank my supervisors for allowing me to go off on this tangent for this project and especially thank my main supervisor, Jolien, for co-developing this toolbox with me. And I'd like to thank all of you for listening. Cheers and goodbye.